Archbishop of Lviv, we fight not with rifles but with a rosary, two years on from Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Vatican Media speaks with Archbishop Mcisław Mukurtsiki, Metropolitan of Lviv of the Latins. What gives me strength, hope, and faith is that I see that Divine Providence does not abandon us and there is so much faith in people, says Archbishop Mcisław Mukurtsiki in an interview with Vatican News. The Latin Metropolitan of Lviv stressed that in this dark time of war all of Ukraine is wrapped in a chain of prayer. We are God's fighters, not with the rifle, but with the rosary. Not on the battlefield, but on our knees before the Blessed Sacrament. Below is an English translation of Archbishop Mcisław Mukurtsiki's interview with Beata Zajczkowska of Vatican News. Vatican News even in Lviv the sirens continue to sound and the city is being bombed. What reflection are your reflections on the second anniversary of the large-scale war? Archbishop Mcisław Mukurtsiki, among the many words recorded on the pages of the Gospels, I was struck by a short statement of the Lord Jesus, There is no good tree that bears bad fruit, nor bad tree that bears good fruit. For every tree is known by its fruit. These words are the voice of truth for us to judge the conduct of people who, by following evil, become bitter fruits for others. And even though they say they want to defend and liberate, we see that they do not. Instead of peace, they generate war. Instead of love, they generate hatred. Instead of tranquility, they generate fear. This is their fruit, bitter and sour. Therefore without a doubt, it can be said that there is nothing good in them. For they are bad trees and their fruit is the guilt of Cain. It pains us that a few decades after the end of World War II, we again have to defend our freedom and reflect on how human beings are unable or cannot remember the horrors that war had left behind. Instead, we remember perfectly well, most of us only from history, but there are people among us who remember that period from personal experience. Unfortunately, military activities continue. Missiles and drones rain down on people and cities. Soldiers and innocent people are killed. Many people are injured, deprived of their homes and their livelihoods, lacking work. All this leads to fear, anxiety, uncertainty. Many children, adults, even priests fall into despair, depression, and mental illness. In this situation, the church is concerned to help everyone. We help soldiers fighting through chaplain service, we organize humanitarian aid, food, medicines, and equipment, and even help buy drones. We continue to welcome IDPs, internally displaced persons, and to organize humanitarian aid and send it to war zones. We also provide this help to poor families in our parishes. We organize extensive pastoral work to strengthen faith and hope in them.